This is the Creo Transformers 4 Age of Extinction Custom Creon Grimlock Strafe Scorn and Slug. All four figures make up uh, the third wave of the 2014 Creo Transformers 4 Custom Creon series of figures. Um, here's a quick look at their packaging. They're all in silver. They're all very movie accurate. Um, when I saw pictures of these guys on the internet, I was like, man, these things are going to be very boring. I was like, because they're all silver, chrome, and gray uh, with bits of color. So I was like, hmm, should I even pick them up? But being a Creo fan, I said, okay, what the heck, let's go get them all. And guess what? They're all, they turned out really, really great. Um, I think Hasbro did a phenomenal job on these guys, despite they look be looking very drab in the beginning and they showed pictures when you see these things in actual packaging when you open them up man these things just you know they just explode uh, uh with i don't know what it is uh with with what hasbro did with these figures i don't know if they, were, they put a little bit more chrome they got the correct mix of weapons and accessories for some weird reason these are one of the best custom creons i've ever seen um and i'm not a big fan of the movie so you you have to understand where i'm coming from uh i wasn't really interested in getting these but you know as it turns out they're actually pretty pretty cool very nice uh let's start with grimlock since everybody is just after this guy for some for one reason or another everyone just wants grimlock uh every everybody else uh, especially Slug and Strafe, they're, they're left on the pegs. Scorn, I see a couple of them still on the pegs. Uh, but it is Grimlock that gets picked up first, here, at least here in Manila. And I was like, why would you want Grimlock and not the others? You have to get everybody. And uh, based on what I've heard, a lot of collectors are after the weapons for this guy. And uh, to me, uh, out of all the Creos, He's the only thing he's going for him. He's got the best helmet, and he's got this best, the best uh, single accessory, which is the sword. But everything else, I I don't think he has the best. I think the one who has the best uh, accessories in particular are uh, are these three actually uh, more than him. But anyway, uh, let's stick to that. So he's got this sort of huge axe. Uh, you don't have to connect this. Uh, spear tip if you don't want to. I just connected it because I didn't have any more clips uh, to, to hang him on the rack because I used both clips on his helmet. So I put it on top. But this is what people are after. The chrome blade and this really neat G1 homage uh, sword, Dinobot sword, sort of. Um, this is actually Snake Eyes' sword, I think, uh, that they've used. He's got a really, really badass helmet. Uh, look at that chrome and all those spikes. Really nice. I don't know if he looks exactly like Grimlock, but uh, he's got some spikes on the back. That's what I don't get. Everybody has spikes and weapons at the back, except Strafe, obviously for obvious reasons. But somehow they they made him they made all these Dinobots very very spiky. So he's pretty cool. I'll get you that, but you know, not really to go hunting. You don't have to go hunting him down or anything like that. But there is a lot of Chrome, and I'll give him that. And I think a lot of fans are after that. So. I don't know if you've noticed. Well, you probably did. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot to mention that everybody, um, each of the Dinobots also have a clear variant of the legs and the helmet and the body. The bodies are all clear white. Uh, everybody has that clear white version of their Energon bodies. But the legs and the helmet reflect the colors that they would have in the actual toy, which is Grimlock is gold, Strafe is blue, Scorn is red, and Slug is purple. If you actually see the... The Transformers toys, that's their representative colors. But if you want them in movie accurate colors, this is how it should be. So that's Grimlock. Let's go to Strafe. This one was actually pretty cool. I was expecting the wings to just be like this. Just like on that blind pack. I forgot the Dinobot's name. Anyway, um, I was expecting the wings to just be like this. But they gave him the Rat Bat wings. And it just looks great. You can clip it this way or you can clip it on the... On the other other posts and make it wider wingspan make it bigger but for displaying purposes i think this is the best way to do it uh the blue uh, the color blue the, the blue on him looks just really great 
uh, and the weapons he has. The reason you're buying this one is really for the wings. That that's that's the main thing. That's what the plus for this. Uh, he's got some uh, Dungeons and Dragons weapons. <laughs> that's the nice thing about this particular uh, set of figures. I think that they got the good combination of weapons from Dungeons and Dragons, from Creo, and from GI Joe. Uh, none of the Star Trek weapons, I think. So that's pretty cool. Look at this guy. Just amazing all over. Uh, he's got the shield. The, what I thought was going to be the wing turned out to be a shield. and A lot of chrome on it as well. And a sort of knife sword blade. So not too bad. But uh, again, collectors, I think we're after the wings for this one. Next, we'll have Scorn. Now, these two are okay. I'm not, I'm not doing it based on um what i think is the best and the worst because i certainly think the ones with better weapons are these guys than this one I'm just i'm just trying to do it in in the order i i, I open them up so let, let's try and do scorn this one i think his highlight his main highlight if you ask me is the hammer and the chrome dome helmet look at that it's a full helmet that's done in all chrome and I'm just really, really liking it. Uh, the instructions say to use to separate these two and have it on either hand. But I thought the hammer was just a mallet, was just super cool that he got he had to he had to he had to hold this particular weapon. You hold him this way, the flat end, or this way, the slanted end. I, I don't you know, it's up to you. It's just an amazing, amazing concept. And he's got those spikes at the back, because he's a spinosaurus. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but even here the weapons are chrome. There's just a ton of chrome on these things. I think collectors were really after that. So there, I, I particularly like the hammer. I wish they could have chromed some of the pieces, and that would have been really, really awesome. So there, and finally, but certainly not least, is Slug, and here he is. He's, he he too has a ton of chrome pieces. Uh, battle axe at the back. Um, he's got his helmet. Uh, oh no, not a lot of chrome pieces. Sorry, my bad. Just just those two. It's still okay. The thing that really that I really like about this guy is his shield. It's such a Dungeons and Dragons knight shield. I wasn't too hot about that at first because he I, he had to hold it. I was like, come on, how am I gonna hold the other weapons? Right then, I discovered you could clip on that small clip, just like what some of the other Creons had that you can clip the wings onto their arms using that clip that double clip uh, and then clip the uh, clip the shield on his arm that way he could hold more weapons and then he's got this morning star which I was really thought was in interesting I thought this should have been given to him given that you know animated homage but they gave it to this guy which is fine it looks great on him he's got that classic um, you know when I had Legos I had those uh, castle knights, not the knights, but the soldiers, the archers, they had these kind of helmet, and I thought this was really, really nice, looked really nice on Slug. And there, and then he's got the purple helmet. Uh, he's got the stick, just, just a bow, the instructions just tell you to keep it as a bow, or a, a long bow, a stick. Not a long bow, just a stick uh, for him. So, there you go. Uh, it's a very interesting set of, of custom Creons. Uh, if you're planning on getting these guys, I suggest you get all four of them. Don't see, I really don't see any point in just getting just one unless you really have a thing for like Grimlock or you're like a strafe collector score or whatever. You just want Dinobot in particular, like everyone's a lot, really into Grimlock and they just want Grimlock. They don't care about the other Dinobots and fine. But I think they go, they go well together. And if you ask me, um, each one has its own strengths and and an advantage and and, and um, uh, attractive feature. There's no one uh, uh, Dinobot which is better than the other. Certainly, Grimlock is not better than any of the others. I think they're all equally well made, well developed, and well designed. So kudos to Hasbro for doing such a wonderful, wonderful job on these things. Each this whole set is is you know the only if if at all if at all. I'm gonna nitpick on these guys. It's the wrist joints. Uh, I don't know if it's wear and tear or if it's mold degradation, but the wrist joints are very, very loose. Um, it could be because of the weight of the weapons, but for instance, the sword is very light, but the wrist is just so loose. I just opened these guys. I haven't even played with them or anything like that. They're just 
very very loose and it, it happens for every single dinobot which is kind of a pain but you know that's a quality issue overall design and uh, uh, value for this thing I'm gonna give the this entire set a 10 out of 10 this entire wave a 10 out of 10 just an amazing amazing wave of custom creons so there you go folks um, I hope you enjoyed this video review if you did please click the thumbs up icon at the bottom follow me on Twitter for my toy purchases Instagram for my toy sightings here in Manila check out check out all my video reviews on this channel Chefatron um, this is the uh, Creo uh, Transformers 4 Age of Extinction custom creons uh, Grimlock, Strafe, Scorn, and Slug thanks for watching